52 people lose their lives in this country due to violent crimes. According to the police, they say in our country, if you have committed a crime, there is only 50% chance that you will be arrested. And they go further. They say if you have committed murder, there is only a 13% chance that you will be convicted. And that if you are a rapist, there is only at about 11% chance that you will be convicted. These call center operators make those statistics better than they would be without their contribution. And I'm sure from yesterday <coughs> and until today's, which is the second day of the strike, the chance of the police finding the perpetrators of violence because you yourself are saying you have been calling there and there's no response, means almost close to zero. But more importantly, the chance of the police securing a conviction in court, which they rely on the evidence provided by these call centers, because every call we make to the 10 triple one is recorded and can be used in court, it means that all of a sudden for two days, those uh, victims of crime will have no access to justice whatsoever. It's absolutely uncaring, absolutely not without any sense of shame that we are allowing people who provide such an essential service to the public to, to be forced to go on, on a strike that is completely unnecessary. The strike is completely unnecessary. This matter should have been resolved at the time when the commissioner, Riecha, Riecha Piecha, came to the scene and addressed these workers directly and agreed with them that uh, they are wrongfully uh, graded. Our plea to the minister, please respond. Respond to the president. We have, we have made a call to your office.